rubrics, an assessment tool to save grading time, improve student feedback, and promote student self-learning. What is a rubric? A rubric is a grading tool that lays out the specific expectations for an assignment. For this video, we will focus on analytic rubrics. A rubric resembles a grid and consists of four parts. The first part of the rubric is a description of the assignment. It is recommended that you cut and paste the assignment directly from Blackboard for wording consistency. The second part is the performance criteria. Here, the assignment is broken down into individual grading components. The third part of the rubric is the range scale. The scale offers a range of three to five performance levels. The more levels there are, the harder it is to differentiate between them. Conversely, the more specific the levels are, the less comments you have to make for individual students. The fourth part is the individual descriptions within the grid. These descriptions precisely describe what must be accomplished to achieve this level and give clear guidance as to what is expected. Before you begin creating the actual rubric, consider the course level objectives that your assignment addresses. It is also important to provide the relevance of your assignment. So how do you build a rubric? First, you add a title. Then, the second part of building a rubric consists of the assignment or task. In our assignment, we want students to bake a pie that is delicious and attractive. The second part of a rubric consists of the performance criteria. In this part of the rubric, we are dividing up the assignment into chunks. For the apple pie assignment, the criteria for a delicious pie is good taste, texture, appearance, and following the recipe directions. If you include points or percentages to each component, the student knows the importance or value of each criteria. In the apple pie assignment, for example, since taste and texture are more important than appearance, they have been given a higher weight. The third part of the rubric is the range scale. These labels determine the level. In our example, the scale is exceptional quality, average quality, and poor quality. The fourth part of the rubric is the individual descriptions within the grid. These descriptions describe what must be accomplished to achieve each level. Students can evaluate their own performance by measuring against these descriptions. Begin with the highest expectations, then the lowest expectations, and finally the range in between. Our example looks like this. Now you can go out and create your own. Why would you create a rubric? Rubrics convey timely feedback. Although it takes time up front to create the rubric, using a rubric saves you hours in grading. Once created, you could simply measure your student's work against the criteria and assign a grade. Rubrics make evaluations more objective. Without a rubric, the tendency that we sometimes might have to compare papers and projects to each other is replaced by comparing them to objective criteria. Rubrics bring structure to your grading. Determining the specific criteria to grade can be daunting. Rubrics help you determine exactly what you want to measure and the values that should be assigned. Rubrics provide transparency to the student. The performance criteria outlines exactly what is being graded. There is no guesswork for the students. Students can review the individual description outlines and know exactly what is expected from each range scale. The highest expectations are clearly outlined. The result? Students know exactly what is being assessed and the grade values assigned to each component prior to the assignment. Rubrics encourage student self-evaluation. Having a clearly defined rubric, students can self-check their own work to gauge their progress. Students can even check each other's work against the rubric prior to submitting assignments. This strengthens comprehension and helps the student improve their grade. In short, students can perform the unassignment according to the grade that they wish to earn. Rubrics lessen grade frustrations. Sometimes students will contend that a grade is unfair and want specific reasons why they received the grade they did. Since the performance levels are clearly defined, students can review how their grade was determined. 
Using matrix will make your work faster by making your grading more objective. It will help you add structure to your course. And best of all, students will appreciate the transparency.